Well, you may want to start it back up and listen to this. Crank it up and come listen. What's up guys, it's Zip Tie Zach. And uh, last time y'all saw the Cobalt, we went for our first drive, and as you know, it didn't make any boost. So, since then, I've rerouted some vacuum lines, uh, actually hooked up the boost controller, because that wasn't hooked up, that was still on the stock turbo. Uh, we're gonna change out the wastegate spring to a bigger spring, and then I'm gonna try and get rid of this EGR pipe. To get to the wastegate, and it literally take almost off the whole upper charge pipe. All right guys, so I am here as well, but this video is all about Zach and his Cobalt, and I really hope that it makes some boost. But, little quick update, little plug on my own. A big wing is on the way for the Miata, as well as the Mega Squirt. So I'm actually gonna call Goodwin Racing right now, who I ordered it from, and I'm gonna see if it shipped out today. Uh, when I called them a few days ago, they had one in stock, and I actually waited like two days to buy it, which I probably shouldn't have, but I'm gonna call them now and just see if they still got it. Calling to check on a Mega Squirt. Why, Zach uh, tries to give us some boost. I'm sure it'll make boost now. I just don't want it to overboost. Oh, no, we don't want that. Hmm. Are they close? No, they're in California, but they were switching shops. Thanks for calling Goodwin Racing. Sorry we've missed you. Perhaps it's after hours, we're out on the track, or all our lines are currently busy. Hmm. Many questions, including product specs... And Alrighty, well, I will call back. In the meantime... Because they didn't send me yet. They said most things ship out in 24 hours, but I didn't get an email back or anything yet, so I'm not sure. And they only had one. So, but it let me order it. I don't think it should let me order it, like, yeah. if it was out of stock. I mean, and they have to know they can't get them from DIY Autotune because they're on massive forever back order, so. Who's calling? Uh, that is not them. I'm not sure. It's somebody from Jacksonville, Florida. And I don't know anybody in Jacksonville, so we're not going to pick that up. All right, so we're gonna to attempt to replace the wastegate spring. We're gonna pull the wastegate off the car. What pound spring is in it now, do you know? Whatever one came in it, I know. See, what's crazy is, okay, when I was looking up on the Miata's wastegate, you know, and listen, the info is probably all wrong because it's eBay bull crap, but it said online that there was a five or seven pound spring, right? Well, we could not compress it with our hands at all. We swapped springs and could compress it really, really easily. So I don't know if we, I mean, we had to swap to a different, to a smaller spring or a lighter spring. Uh -huh. So lighter spring would mean less boost. So that could be why it's only making five pounds. Yeah, that and it's untuned and all kinds of other issues. So, but we got the Mega Squirt. It's uh, hopefully on the way. If not, guess what we're doing on Friday? Going to pick it up. Do you know what we're doing on Friday? What's Friday? Putting in a wing on the Miata. A big wang on the back. Step one: remove all the Allen bolts. While holding down the top so you don't get a precision Shine. wastegate in your face. Shine the forehead with it. I'm sure that's happened before. Oh, yeah. And listen, if it happens now, it's going to get a lot of views. So I'm perfectly okay with it happening. If you want to take one for the team and take a, a wastegate to the dome, <laughs> you certainly can. I'd rather not. Now, please don't. There's dual springs in here. There's two springs in there? Well, yeah, that's fine. Pull them out because usually it comes that way and then you pull the springs out and you just put one spring in there to the spring that you want. But usually two springs is going to be your strongest. Yeah, this thing's... So if it's got two springs already, then that's your strongest because they'll say they'll tell you in the instructions to double up on the springs to make it stronger. Hey, Zach. Hey, Justin. Are we getting close to the time where we drive and make boost? Um, they want to attempt to try and put the exhaust back. Yes, yes, please. Let's do that. That is... I approve this message. I mentioned that in the little intro there. That's okay. You did a great job on that intro. Did you know Zach did the intro to the video? He did? Yep. Did this is going to be now? all Zach's video. All Zach's video. Just but now I'm filming and talking. But uh, Kenneth's here. And uh, I know you guys don't know Kenneth very well, but he's got terrible luck. So he orders this engine stand. Yep. And for the longest time, as long as I've known Kenneth, bad luck has followed him. He orders this engine stand, and it comes with three wheels. It's missing an entire wheel. But now, how many weeks has it been? Oh, I've had the wheel. You've had the wheel? I had yeah, the wheel just had like a week ago. Over to put it on. 
You live two seconds away. Yeah, bro, I'm busy. We got the hoist and the stand. It'll be nice when it's on the stand, because then we're going to take the trans off, right? Yeah, we're going to take the trans off today. And trans is for sale if anybody wants to buy it. It's a stock A340 Supra transmission, uh, four speed, I think, or three speed. Four speed. I think it's a four speed? Three four speed? speed? Four speed. Four speed. Four speed. Four speed. We'll be back, All hopefully right. trying to make some booze. All right, can I tell them what's going on? I tell them what? Tell them what you guys are doing. Oh, we're just trying to get this exhaust onto this exhaust and we're kind of stuck right now because these bolts are broken and these ones are rusted and we're just yeah so essentially the way it started up last time was just straight down pipe and it was super loud essentially uh they were trying to put the exhaust connect the exhaust to the down pipe but it's all stuck and rusted together so kenneth is uh gonna penetrate it real quick for us with penetrating oil yep Hard wiggles. Hard wiggles. Uh oh. Uh oh. I, see, I hear something. Is it moving? Uh, well, I hear it's cracking. Just the whole exhaust. Thing. I'm pretty sure that's just the whole exhaust. Three hours later. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's almost out. Oh, it's almost out. There it is. Oh. There it is. Oh, I hurt my finger. All right, Kiki, how's it looking? Uh, first start up with the resonator. First start up with the resonator. Here we go. Oh, and correctly ran vacuum lines. I like that. Probably gonna be much more manageable. Probably. Much better. Still loud, but definitely better. All right, so we're gonna let this baby warm up, and then after that, we're gonna go out and see if it makes some boost. All right, give it a little, give it a little revy rev.
Well, you may want to start it back up and listen to this. Crank it up and come listen. Very closely, a zip tie Zach inspects the blown inspects the blown up. What is this? L F L F A L L N F L N F. What can what can we uh, what can we abbreviate that for with being blown up? L N F. Lots of lots of noise. Lot of not fun. Yeah, lot of not. Fun. Lot of not fun. Just heard the sound from the first pull and. Uh, it's not very good. So we're going to pull a spark plug, see if the spark plug's melted. I went ahead and texted Victor, and uh, that's what he said to do. He says something's definitely blown up. He said it does not sound like a bent rod. He said pull the spark plugs, see if one is melted. So we'll go from there. It sounds like it's in the head for sure. Oh, yeah, it's definitely head to So because you have uh, pistons and rods, right? Yeah. Right, but, right. guys, listen, prior to this happening, like, he knew there was a motor issue. We put the turbo on. But what was the issue? I don't know, it was, their fuels were real wonky with it, and it would, weird things would mm -hmm. happen while driving it. Right. So, that's why it was parked, and I'm parked. Right. But then I had gotten everything turbo side, and then my hand was kind of played to... Right. All right, let's pull the spark plugs and uh, see what one looks like. You ever played Operation? Yep. As a kid? It's about to be really hot. Oh. <laughs> Your noises. <laughs> Zach did not go to school to be a doctor. Steady hands. Yeah, I don't have those. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that when the internet sees how we're getting spark plugs out of a motor, they're gonna lose their mind. They're gonna lose it. The general consensus is we pulled out the spark plugs. Nothing was melted. However, I uh, got some good, solid, reliable information from Victor, who is pretty much guarantees he said it is a melted piston from detonation. So, what's the plan now? What's the plan? It sits again. Darn. And this is what we get for sending. That's gonna wrap it up for tonight. Um, the first drive went pretty well until we got back and we heard the ticking in the head. So something's definitely broken now. Don't know where we're going to go from here, but be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.